Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. In this episode, I'm going to talk about type guards in TypeScript. You can think of a type guard as a guard that only passes variables of a specific type. So uh, if the code passed the guard, you can assume that the variable you're using is of a specific uh, type that, that that specific guard is guarding. So let's see a few examples of type guards you can use and create yourself. There are two basic type guards uh, currently in TypeScript and uh, a type guard that you can create yourself. So let's start with uh, a basic uh, type guard, which is typeof. Uh, so typeof is actually a JavaScript uh, keyword and it, uh, using it you can uh, check the type of the variable. So for example, if you have a function log error and it receives an error and what you want to do you want to support passing an error string or an actual error and log the error depending on the, the type that you were passed if it was uh, a string you want to log it as is and if it is an error you want to log only the message I don't know why but that's your application so the JavaScript code it will be something like this if error sorry type of error is a string then I can simply log the error otherwise uh, since I assume that I expect only strings and errors I can log the error dot message now you can see that uh, when I press the dot it's showed me only the interface of an error. You can see here error.message, error.name and error.stack and for now we want to log the message. Uh, so what actually happened here? This is actually a type guard and the TypeScript compiler knows to see that if uh, we're checking uh, for a type of a variable, here is, it is an error, uh, and it passes this statement it knows that because of this is a type guard of a string, uh, the type of the error here will be a string. You can see here, uh, it specifies that the type is string, and otherwise, it is smart enough to see that uh, the only way uh, the code will, uh, will go to the else statement is if the, the type of the error is not a string, which leaves it only to be an error. Uh, so you can see here that the error is actually of type error. So this is a very simple uh, type guard, type of. The other one that I'm going to show you is actually uh, simple as well, and it is an instance of. But for me to show it to you, let's close it up. Uh, it's going to be a little bit preparation should need to be done. Okay, so I'm going to create a class, export class which will be a rectangle, rectangle which will receive its width which is a number and height, height which is also a number number yeah okay and I will have a class circle with a constructor public and uh, radius number. Okay, and now uh, what I want to do is I want to create a function of get area of a geometry, which can be either a rectangle, rectangle, or sorry, or a circle, and I'm gonna return the area of the geometry. So assume I mean I'm assuming here that uh, the there is no actually geometry interface because because between a rectangle and a circle there is nothing really common and let's assume we didn't create it okay and we specify the type rectangle or circle for all the geometries it can receive for now so uh, what our code will look like so if the geometry is an instance of a circle circle okay so what will happen here here uh, the instance of type guard will only pass 
Here's the geometry only if the type of the geometry is actually a circle. So uh, the compiler knows that the geometry here is actually a circle and I can use uh, it as a circle with all its API. So here it uh, suggests me for the property radius and it will be 2 pi r. So, uh, sorry, 2, uh, sorry, uh, 2 pi r, it's, really, it's not a, an area, and pi r squared. And so this is radius math dot pi multiplied by math power of two. Okay. Otherwise, so the type guard knows here it is not a circle, so it looks at the center of the bit area and sees that geometry can be either a rectangle or a circle. So now it knows it is not a circle, so it must be a rectangle. So now I can use it as a rectangle. So it will be geometry height, height multiplied by geometry width. So uh, instance of is another type of uh, built-in uh, type guard for TypeScript, such as the type of. Now let's look at the third type of uh, type guards that you can create yourself. Uh, okay, so let's assume that uh, the rectangle and the circle have also uh, their location and it, was, it is specified by an interface point x number y will be also a number and I'll have here, I also have the top left point of the uh, location of the rectangle and on to the circle I'm gonna pass the center point and now let's assume that what I want to do is actually get center uh, of the geometry and now I will support a point or a rectangle or a circle uh, Let's make it uh, uh, not get center, log center. Okay, to avoid. Uh, why? Just because. So, what I want to do, okay, uh, I would like to write a code something like this. It goes something like this. If is point uh, the geometry, geometry, then I would like to log the geometry geometry what's wrong here oh because of the comma okay geometry dot x and geometry dot y otherwise if it is a geometry instance of a rectangle then I would like to log the geometry dot uh, top left dot x plus geometry width divided by 2 and the geometry top left y added the geometry height divided by 2 and otherwise I would like to log the geometry dot center Okay, so uh, what can we see here? So for now we don't have the isPoint uh, function and uh, I'll explain in a second why I need the isPoint function. Uh, I don't have the x and the y properties and the center. Uh, why it is, uh, the reason why it doesn't yell at me over here is because the type guard instance of is used here and, and because there is uh, no uh, guards over here uh, the only guard it is here, so the two geometers that, in, that can pass uh, to the L statement are a uh, point or circle. So this why it tells me the geometry now is either a point or a circle. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create is point geometry. Uh, let's make it a, a geometry, which can be any. And it will return, okay, the type of the Type guard here, it will be uh, geometry is a point. So 
before I implement it, let's look at the syntax, what it means, and why the errors uh, are gone now. So, the syntax is uh, to specify a custom type guard is a function with a return type uh, that should be boolean, which indicates whether this statement is true or not. So, the first uh, thing in the statement is the variable we check, and the uh, is, is a uh, is a word is a saved word, and now we are specifying that this function will return true only if the geometry is actually a point. Let's implement it uh, using other tag guards. Geometry dot x is a number, and type of geometry dot y is also a number. So uh, why did we need this? Uh, function in the first place because the point is an interface it doesn't exist in runtime in uh, JavaScript so there is no way we can ch use the type of or instance of to check the uh, the type of the geometry in runtime and it is probably gonna be if it's point it's gonna be a plain object uh, so the type of geometry is actually be it will be an object and what we're checking here is to see that the geometry is like a point. Uh, and it has the properties x and y and now this because of this syntax geometry is point this is now a tab guard <coughs> so the geometry now is a point so we can use the x and the y uh, uh, the, the geometry that goes to the else if here is either a rectangle or a circle because the point will go over here so here it's a rectangle or a circle and inside the else if we're, uh, we're checking for the rectangle and uh, we excluded the point, the, the rectangle, I'm sorry. So the only geometry type is left now is a circle. So this is why uh, this code is, uh, is compiling for now. So why type guards were invented, for my opinion, and why they're so useful? Well, first of all, uh, without type guards, uh, in order to use this geometry over here as a point, you'd probably need to do some casting. So we'd had to uh, to make a line something like this point equal to point geometry, okay, and use the point as uh, to log the x and y. So uh, it's actually uh, an unneeded line for if you think JavaScript way, because uh, we don't need the checking uh, this casting in JavaScript. I'm sorry to use it, but if the TypeScript didn't know uh, that at this point the geometry is a point uh, it would be actually an error for TypeScript uh, to not yell at me because it can pass here with the rectangle and it doesn't know so the way we're specifying the types we're cutting the, uh, the types who can pass uh, in the gate we're guarding it with a specific type so uh, here we're guarding it for a rectangle here we're guarding it for a point and the only type that is left to pass uh, inside the else is actually a circle. So it is, if you look at it, it will be a simple JavaScript code that should compile, but if without type guards, uh, TypeScript wouldn't need, uh, wouldn't know uh, about the, uh, the the logic of the types that were passed inside the else and f, uh, inside the if and else statements. So it is actually a necessary part of TypeScript. You have watched an episode about type guards in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to watch other related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on ProgramArts!